Hi guys, it's Chris from Wrath of Course. Uh, once again, apologies for not having many videos um, in the past couple of days, well, weeks even. Uh, I've just had quite a lot to do. I've been finishing off WAE uh, Part 2, which is uh, really coming along now, so I've got some nice updates of that. And in this video as well, I want to explain, basically, I don't think I've ever done a video on this, but the differences between uh, GVE and WAE, as well as a little bit of history for each one. So it's more so like a history lesson, <laughs> but, you know, um, also providing quite a bit of information uh, and whatnot for um, Wrath of Course. Okay, so <clears throat> first off, uh, regarding the WAE updates, um, all the cards have finally been completed. There's 197 cards, I believe, um, in this set. I'll have a very quick ganders now. Uh, yes, 197. However, the final card, what, uh, card number 197, is going to be a promo card, which I will be explaining a bit later on, uh, towards the end of the video. Um, so yeah, I have purchased my uh, proof, like pre-proof um, version of the Game Crafter. Uh, it's cost me fair bit of money, you know. <laughs> it's come to 100, about $153 or something like that. However, I have ordered a booster box and the new theme set, uh, theme deck, what is to be released finally when I eventually get hold of them. Uh, so the good thing about getting the booster box is that the cards will be available to buy in the UK for all my UK based fans, which is really useful because Illumins and Souls does the same thing. He, sell, he buys from the US and then sells to the UK. Um, and when I used that feature, you know, it was a massive, it's really reliable and really beneficial for me, the player. So I'm going to try and do something very similar, however it's going to be based on just standard boosters and not theme decks. That's why I'm buying the booster box at the um, manufacturer's rates. So, uh, yeah, that is basically the main thing about WA2. It is coming, it is very close. I've got, I'm, I'm basically waiting on the game crafter, and um, that's it. So, uh, yeah, the whole point of this video, moving on. Um, so yeah, the differences between GVE and WAE. So I'm going to start with GVE. GVE was when I, it, it's basically the very first set what came out for Wrath of Course. There's two main sets, GVE and WAE. Uh, GVE basically used, well, it stood for good versus evil. It's when, you know, when the very first set, uh, homemade CCG comes out, you kind of think of the basics for set one. So I thought something, you know, light versus dark, good versus evil, etc, etc. So GVE. Uh, was released in 2016, which is really hard to believe because it's getting on for three years old now, and I really can't believe that. Um, it the first half came with about 100 cards. I usually try and aim for 100 cards in the half of a set, um, and of course GVE came in two halves. So the second half, uh, sorry, before moving on to the second half, the first half actually came with two theme decks, like two starter decks for people to buy. And um, that was the um, deck of darkness and the deck of honor. So you can kind of see where the whole good versus evil type theme fits in here. You know, we've got a light deck and a dark deck, or a good deck and a dark deck, etc. And um, and those decks proved to be quite popular, especially the deck of honor. You know, it turned out to be quite a tanky deck, but everybody seemed to love playing it. Uh, and of course, we had the main characters in GVE Part One, which were Rainus and Kira, as well as um, also. Now. So that's like the goodies and the baddies kind of thing. So GVE 2 came out in 2017, almost a year later. And that brought with it another 85, 90 cards or something like that. As well as its own theme deck, which was the Deck of the Wild, which was a green-based deck. And basically, there's a bit of a story between it. The, um, not the whole Mother Nature type thing really, really didn't appreciate, you know, light and dark, fighting it off on her domain every so often. So then she started creating these, um, you know, her own force to basically fend off the other two decks. Alongside with the theme deck was the release of the Mage Sisters. And they turn out to be um, Kira's younger sisters. So don't forget Kira is daughter to... Uh, Rainus. And not much is actually said about the wife of Rainus, however if you read the little bit of a novel type thing I released a few months ago, you'll see what happens with that. Then Alto uh, was knocking about and the Mage Sisters found out that Alto was a really bad person, or a bad thing. Um, so they eventually, you know, tied all loose ends with Kira and Rainus and they basically defeated um, Alto. Um, and that's kind of where GVE ended. 
um, it kind of it kind of shoots eyes on to uh, WA even because in the story uh, Alto would dissipate and then he would basically leave like these little splatter of elementals um, behind, which would eventually then start to grow a mind of their own. And that's where WAE starts then, that's where it carries on, because WAE stood for War Against the Elements. So the story then moves from Rainus's, um domain over to a, a main and, and a second main character called uh, Leo, who was basically based in a kingdom of Haran. Him and his forces were basically to fight off the um, the elemental creatures which which spawned off Alto and that's where WAE set one um, carries uh, continues or starts off should I say. So um, yeah so following WAE part one which was released in 2018 I think it's very early 2018 because I remember typing up the bit of a bottom of the card and that actually brought out the new border for the card, the new design, and I'll throw a few pictures up straight here. And you can see straight away that there's, a, there's been a vast improvement in the uh, in the card borders and the card design, such as the element icons and the attack and power, uh, attack and health of the units and stuff like that. The, the story towards this was the citadel of Leo and his little bit of a family and his followers fending off the elementals. Um, so WA came with two starter decks, which was the um, deck of Lost Time and the deck of Fire and Ice. So as you can test straight away, you know it's it's Elemental versus the other deck. Um, and then that brought with it about 101 cards. So you know already we're totaling 300 cards. Sorry, more over 300 cards in the in the whole series. So moving on to 2019. Uh, which where we are now and WAE2 is very close to being released and then this will basically see the, basically the elementals overthrow like the human forces so we will be seeing a lot of human characters there's been quite a lot leaked already um, we will be seeing more elemental type creatures more Krillizians all that good stuff as well as a new deck um, which is going to be called Deck of the Storm so where we had Fire and Ice in the first set in the first half the second half of WAE will be basically uh, Thunder and Earth based. So um, yeah, all the elementals basically team up and overthrow the humans. And then that's eventually then going to lead on to set 3, which I'm not going to spoil as of yet, because it's way too early. So what else can we expect from WAE? Um, well obviously the booster box has been updated, so pardon me. <coughs> The booster packs are currently not available to buy at the moment. It's temporarily offline. Um, however, if you keep checking, if you're watching this video in the future, then be sure to go back and, and check on it now because it will be released. I'm hoping in the next month or so, a couple of weeks. Um, so, yeah, we will be having that. There'll be some tiny, tiny little um, card border changes as well. And one thing was the price of the card. There will be no such thing as a blank cost, uh, cost symbols, they will be deleted. So if a card costs three elements, it will only show three elements at the top of the card. Easy peasy. Um, apart from that, not much has changed with the border. Um, every card will be available as a glare card, unlike GVE, where some of the smaller common cards were never turned into glares. WAE2 has every single card in its set, in its entire set, as a glare. Um, so, talking about glares and everything now, we will um, move on to the next item, and that is a product called the Golden Booster Pack. So, the Golden Boost Booster Pack will contain less cards, only a couple, um, no, so it contains the same number of cards, it will have zero common cards, so it basically throws all the lower ones, what you, what you always tend to get a lot of, and it removes them from the pack, so there's no um, common cards. There will be a handful of uncommon cards, um, I think it's about the same as what you get in a standard booster pack. Then, instead of getting two rares and or royalty rares, you will be getting three rares and or royalty rares. And then, but you will, instead of getting one glare card, you will be getting three glare cards. Now, the three glare cards can be of any rarity, including common, including royalty rares. So, in a perfect golden booster pack, you can get up to um, six rares and or royalty rares, which is going to be really big value for money. Um, so it's more of a collector's thing, more than anything. 
there's some really powerful cards coming in the new deck, which is coming out. I've mentioned it once before. And I think the final point to throw out is the promo card. Now, I'm going to show you the top of the card here, but I'm not going to spoil the bottom too early. It's going to be um, these promo cards basically going to be pretty powerful and the uh, variety symbol will also be coloured green regardless of its variety so if it's a common it'll still be green, if it's an uncommon it'll be green if it's a rare it'll be green etc etc usually commons, uncommons and rares and all that are different colours so you cannot find these in any packs on the Gamecraft they're going to be super super hard to find um, the only way you can get these is by going to like events and stuff like that. So if we ever host an event in the future, I think Illumison Souls was going on, there, going on about something uh, a couple of months back because he was going to set up his own stall. Um, I'm going to be going to MCM Comic Con in Manchester this year, so I'll be taking a few of them with me. So, you know, if you ever see me at places like that, just give me a shout, I'll be carrying a few. And um, basically that's going to be the only way where you can get these promo cards. They're going to be really hard to find, um, but they are going to be super powerful, and obviously, you know, you're going to have the glory of owning one of these cards as well. Cool thing is, it's also available in a glare, which is going to make it, you know, <laughs> even more rarer. Um, um, so yeah, that's basically um, how we're set with Wrath of Cores at the current moment in time. So you've got GVE, split into two halves, and WAE split into two halves, and the second half of WAE is going to be released very very shortly uh, like I said I'm just waiting on the game crafter so yeah guys um, I don't think there's anything else I need to add to this uh, if you've got any questions just post a comment down below I'll, I always aim to get everybody um, you know res reply to everybody on YouTube etc um, if there's anything you want to see or if there's any questions or anything you know anything at all just let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you alright guys uh, thanks a lot for watching and I shall see you in my next video